You can now generate images to use in your AIs using the Stable Diffusion block. Let me show you how this works. Here we have a recipe book generator and we're going to enhance it by using the Stable Diffusion block to complement the recipe with an image of the meal you're about to cook. Let's begin by adding the Stable Diffusion block to our automation. You can find this in the community functions. Inside of our Stable Diffusion block, we have a few things to set up. The first is our API key. We can grab this from the Stable Diffusion website. Go to your account. Go to API keys. And then tap copy to clipboard. Now, head back to Mind Studio and paste in your API key. For the prompt, we're going to use a variable. I set one up ahead of time in the user input block and the name I gave it is recipe. We're going to call the variable using the double curly braces like so. We're now going to name the output variable so we can call for the image generated later in our automation. I'm going to set it to meal gen. I set the user input block to collect the recipe you have in mind. Immediately after, I set up a send message block. Let's call this instance a request. This block is going to send our recipe along with our instructions to be processed by our AI of choice. That said, we're going to set the response behavior to assign to variable, and I'm going to name the variable steps. Next, we're going to examine the following send block. Let's call this instance a display. This block is going to gather the results of the previous send block variable that we named steps, as well as show our stable diffusion image generation by wrapping the stable diffusion variable in the markdown to display an image. In order to see our desired final output, we have to make sure to set the response behavior to display to user and the sender to system. For this example, we're going to set the terminator block to end session. Now that we have everything set up, the next best thing for us to do is to test our AI. You can do this in one of two ways. You can either tap the Stable Diffusion function in our resources panel to the left, or you can test it out in a published preview. For this one, we're going to use the published preview to test it out. For this example, we're going to create a recipe for a plate of fried calamari. Great. Now we have the image that we prompted generated by the Stable Diffusion block, as well as our recipe. Now, let's head back to Mind Studio. As you've seen, using this block, we were able to use Stable Diffusion to generate a visual for the meal of our recipe generator. You and your users can now generate images for all sorts of creative ideas. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave us a message in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.